Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a deck profile on Ancient Kazemon. This is essentially a yellow hybrid deck, a very rare type of deck to actually play. Most people tend to lean towards red and blue because they are the most popular ones. However, I think yellow is quite fun in this particular variation here, particularly with the Ancient Kazemon as well, uh, giving all your security Digimon a great boost. So it's going to be a really fun strategy to try out in this particular format. But with that being said, if you guys do enjoy this particular video, definitely drop a like, share, comment and subscribe because it really does help out this channel. But with that being said, let's begin. Alright, so in terms of our Digi Eggs, we really only have one good yellow Digi Egg out there and it's going to be Upamon. Upamon is an amazing card. If you have three of your security, just draw one card. Requirements are very easy to meet because you could really just uh, lose a bunch of security quite early on in the game. In fact, on turn two, the opponent could probably already initiate one or two attacks. So don't be too surprised if you have three of your security. Upamon is just that additional bonus to give you more cards in the hand and that's really all you need to play now starting off with the level threes we are going to be playing four copies here of our pulsemon if you have three security cards gain two memory now this is going to be a very specific effect as well you do need to maintain that three security card cost but that being said, gaining two memory is a huge deal and sometimes it won't go off, but when it does, it is so rewarding. So it's something that I find to be worth playing uh, four copies of in this particular deck. I'll also be incorporating here two copies of our Bushi Agumon as well. This card has Rush. It's a hard play. It can end games. It's just really simple card as is so definitely worth playing in this particular deck however to wrap up with the level threes i'm going to be playing two copies here of patamon uh, it has an on play effect of if you have one or fewer security cards you get to trigger recovery one this gives you a bit more time it recovers you not necessarily delaying you the inevitable but it will get you more cards on the board as well uh, to then eventually just hit your opponents down uh, while slowing down their advances on you by recovering. But that being said, we are only playing the eight level one, uh, level threes here. This is all you really need in this particular deck. And the reason why I think that this is all you need is because we're playing a hybrid deck. So we're gonna be digivolving over tamers. So as a result, our focus will be on the tamers that we actually play in this deck and evolving over them. So onto the level fours, this is where it gets really important. We're gonna be playing here four copies of our Kazemon. Kazemon is obviously the one that allows us to digivolve over our uh, tamers. And that is going to be a very crucial card to have in the deck. Uh, still worth playing four copies of it. But we are also going to be playing here four copies of our Zephyrmon. Zephyrmon also does that at a cheap cost uh, by reducing it down to two. But it also has a when digivolving effect as well to allow you to control your security's DP, which is definitely going to be really good. It basically ensures that your opponent will only get one damage out of you at best per Digimon. So as long as you can keep your opponent's Digimon at bay, at the most minimal copies on the board then you'll pretty much only be taking one damage at a time meanwhile you can just rush them down with the amount that you're throwing out onto the board but aside from that we're also going to be playing four copies here of our bulkmon uh, bulkmon's just a really nice card basically again if you have three or more security cards uh, during your opponent's turn you get blocker which i can't express this enough but rookie rush decks are so annoying and i've just been dealing with it so much it's not even a rookie rush deck like the deck has its own like build up towards a level six but it's just a strategy that people have been employing these days 
have all just been rookie rush and yeah you just gotta deal with it somehow and why not just have a block out on board you know so in that case bulkmon just works well for this particular uh, deck coincidentally all of these uh cards here you see are actually all from bt7 as well so to still play cards from bt7 and to have them still technically hold up till now definitely great but again there's a bit of a resurgence on hybrid decks in general so having these particular two cards definitely very fantastic uh, i highly recommend you guys go out and just look for as many of the hybrid cards from every color as possible uh, because you never know it might actually become uh, quite relevant in this particular format and later formats. So moving on to level 5s, to build up on the Bulkmon, we're also going to be playing Boutmon as well. Boutmon kind of uh, goes on top of Bulkmon because its inherited skill is if you have 3 or more security cards, you also get to uh, unsuspend this Digimon as well when your opponent's Digimon attacks. So when you're unsuspending your own Digimon, you then have the blocker ready to go and it's just a really nice uh, synergistic build up of your uh, Digivolution lines but uh, yeah definitely playing four copies of this it's a really really good card for this particular deck uh, but of course the other cards we're playing in this deck is going to be the Jet Sylphimon uh, similar case it allows you to have more control because you can also just uh, do recovery as well and that way we can always maintain the amount of security cards that we have left over and that's pretty much it with yellow really yellow is focusing so much on controlling the security or controlling dp it's a very technical deck in a way not as technical as something like blue but uh, still it definitely has uh, its nuances that allow it to uh, outshine a lot of other colors uh, based on what it can do now as for level sixes I'm only keeping it to four copies and I'm just gonna be playing the ancient Kazemon you do not need to play any other level sixes in this particular deck because I want this to be my main card that I want to go to I want this to be my main focus so this one gives all of your security Digimon plus 4,000 during your opponent's turn. Very powerful. Your opponent is likely going to be losing that security battle. But on deletion, you can also play one level four or lower card with hybrid in its traits from your hand without paying its memory cost. Definitely fantastic because if your opponent gets rid of this, you have another card out on your next turn, you pretty much get to attack the opponent right away. It's a win-win situation regardless. So yeah it's definitely very nice and i found this to be the fun primary card of this particular deck of course it is lacking in so many other ways though it doesn't really offer anything on its own it does not have additional security attacks it's a 13k which i actually think is quite decent it would most likely win a battle unless you were triggering maybe an omnimon but even then I don't really see Omnimons being played too much these days, or at least in this particular format, so it's very likely I'll be winning most of my battles. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, this is definitely worthwhile as the level 6 of this deck. Alright, so now on to Tamers. It's not a surprise that we're going to be playing 4 copies of Zoe. This card is essentially supporting the whole hybrid and even 10 warriors line. And uh, I say 10 warriors because uh, Ancient Kazemon is one of the 10 warriors that uh, you have there. So having Zoe definitely helps there. Again, controlling the board or controlling your security by having uh, recovery plus one in Zoe's own effect as well, which is fantastic. If you manage to use her as the uh, Digivolution, its inherited effects also give your security Digimon plus 3000 during your opponent's turn a fantastic bonus which is just uh, going to stack up. We are also playing two copies of TK, it's a two cost, it's really cheap, so you want to get this out on the board, but during your opponent's turn all of your security Digimon also get an additional plus 2k. So you've just given all of your Digimon plus 5k if you happen to have both out. Uh, definitely very powerful. Uh, 
Uh, the last of our tamers we're playing is uh, two copies of Kari. If you have three or fewer security cards, gain one memory. So very nice here. Again, all about controlling your security, controlling the opponent's DP, controlling your own DP. And so with that, Kari can really allow you to benefit off that as well with that slight tiny bit of control with your memory too. And let's end things off here with the option cards. Starting off, we're going to be playing four copies of our Tactical Retreat. Again, this card is so important, allowing us to actually put cards back into our security, even controlling what cards we put in our security as well. So for that reason, it is just amazing for what it is because we're having so many Digimon that actually have effects that trigger based on having three security. So Tactical Retreat allows us to kind of control those conditions so that we're always ready to go. It's definitely a fantastic card for this particular deck. I'm also playing here four copies of Yellow Memory Boost. I want to have as much consistency as possible. We're only playing the four copies of Ancient Kazemon. We don't have any other level sixes. So I want Yellow Memory Boost to get me to that card as soon as possible. And next up we have the holy flames this is essentially the final card of our deck it is just a really nice card slowing down your opponent by taking away their security attacks they have no choice but to attack you but here's the thing you have cards that are the trigger or cards that are always going to be unsuspended for example if you're playing boutmon which is the level five you can just unsuspend your digimon so your opponent can't attack it anyway they're going to have to go to your security. If they happen to attack your Ancient Kazamon and delete it, you just get another card out, so it's no big deal there. Holy Flame is definitely the right card to play in this particular deck, and uh, at the cost of two, it's so worth it. If it triggers in the security, then all of your opponent's Digimon also just lose a security attack as well. So if even one Digimon triggers it, then you could pretty much just shut down your opponent's entire turn. They can't even do anything. It's uh, a really, really good card to stay in control. But that wraps it up for this particular deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, this is definitely one of the unique decks out there. I don't see too many people actually playing this particular deck. I just think it's underappreciated. Ancient Kazemon is definitely a really fun card to play. It's not one of my more serious decks that, that I fully invest into, but that's all the more amazing for what Ancient Kazemon is. It's going to be a very cheap deck, so build it up, have a bit of fun, you know, go dig around your BT7 cards because most of the cards in this deck are from BT7. So yeah, by doing so, you could essentially just uh, build yourself this quick deck. I would say it costs you maybe five to $10 at most, you know, like it won't cost you much money, but you'll get to enjoy yourself quite a bit. Um, something at least in the casual formats. But yeah, that being said, thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you all next time.